I wasn't saying is. that. Like yeah. it's such a like I just like watched like a little snippets of like Eddie Kingston versus Gabriel Kidd. Mm-hmm. Oh, and Gabe like, Kidd is not. And to think that I used to watch Gabe Kidd, Kid, Gabe Kidd on like WCPW, and like he was just like this underdog face face right and now this dude is like flipping tables and like mm-hmm. calling out kingston and, mm-hmm. and like he's like one of like the best dudes in the world. i'm like what happened and i realized and i realized who i am i was like no you know what kid i get i get that i know what happened we got tired we got tired of it <laughs> we, got tired. we got tired of it <laughs> we and we're just tired. like you know what i'm gonna talk my shit too we'll so, talk about that we'll yeah talk about like that. that that's exactly what happened <laughs> absolutely absolutely anything else happening on the mainstream you guys have uh, anything caught your eye over the last week or so or you know since the last pay-per-view or anything like that we talked a lot last week of course back backlash france uh and everything and there was a lot of good was leading in the king of the ring and everything like that another saudi show oh, uh, i think it's really random that they're doing some of the tournament like over the live shows over the week yes <laughs> <laughs> i saw that like, right right why a lot of people want to see tiffany stratton like specifically and they yeah. did her match over the weekend at mm-hmm. a superstar show a super superstar show or yeah. just like yeah, super yeah, show yeah. or something yeah, like sure. that and i was like Tiffany's your money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you're, you're putting Tiffany. her over the weekend. Yeah, yeah. Did I don't she, know. Was she the one that had Maxine? Because I know they were dressing down Maxine in the clips I was seeing. No, I think Maxine had somebody else. I don't remember okay. who it was. But well, yeah, I Tiffany should, went over the weekend. I should pull up the brackets. Probably, yeah. <laughs> I don't and know. I think they did LA Night too over the weekend. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. Like, the Trip, Triple H era is interesting. Like he, like it's like grand, and but like there's like small little things. Like hmm, that's weird. Yeah, I feel weird. like he's like trying to do more on like the live events too, and it's just like. Mm. Well, you always do that because I know you know there's always like a title defense, and yeah. it's you know, mm-hmm. but every you know what three times I think in the last thirty years we've had a title change on one yeah. of these, right? There was one, yeah. Yeah, like like yeah. like well, classically, like uh, uh, I think Ric Flair dropped the belt to Bret Hart. Yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, but I think it was like the last days of his contract or something, right? So, mm-hmm. um, so I mean, it happens, but you know, they wanted those one they they're gonna sell tickets. So if you have something like that that has some weight to it, it, it makes sense. And it was something that's like, well, you know, do we have room for this on Raw or SmackDown? Let's throw it on the live show. It makes sense, you yeah. know. Yeah. Um, yeah, you want to see it. Hopefully they taped it. Hopefully it's somewhere. Maybe they throw it on YouTube. You know, or something or like that. Or fans record the entire thing and post it anyways. Yeah. Or that. That's probably what will <laughs> end up happening. probably you're I, I watching swear, it on it's TikTok. Like, I swear, it's like every show, even if I, I haven't been to a WWE show in a while, but I remember they would say like, hey, you know, could you guys not like record? And then like, you know it's going to happen. They anyway. said that to <laughs> us. <laughs> like, it used to be. They said that to us at Northeast Wrestling. And mm-hmm. I was like, um, my friends want footage. Mm-hmm. So like, and plus, know, yeah, it's just like there's a weird like there's always been like this weird like footage. I'm pretty sure it's not weird, but it's like the lay common person doesn't know like what is actually allowed because like if you're not when a, when a company or someone says you're not allowed to film, mm-hmm. but like let's be honest, half the stuff that wrestling fans engage with is fan filmed stuff. Yes. Well, I can tell you as a as a producer of wrestling, you know, yeah. like if somebody's sitting there in the front row with their camera up like this and, mm-hmm. and recording the entire match holding it, it's just like, hey man, go buy a DVD, you know? For sure. Like, right. like For at sure. that point, it's like, go buy a damn DVD, But man. yeah, but like what is it, you know? like it's just like, but you don't know like, like, um, what should I say? Like Amanda, like they could have stopped at the door and been like, you know, if you did record it and be like, you know, you gotta, handle, you gotta delete that. Mm-hmm. You gotta, like even if they're like, there's no legal bounds with it, they could just mm-hmm. be like, oh, you gotta delete that. Or like, don't yeah. post the whole thing. Maybe some clips. Yeah, and, like and then like, yeah. and then you I got like, like, which is then, like the wrestler policy. And and, and <laughs> yeah. then, but we then were just at that waiting point, for a specific moment. Right, we're right. just sitting there 